now the exception parameter of the catch clause e is type of exception the compiler can determine that it is an instance of either first exception or second exception so you can specify in java 7 like this throws first exception second exception even if your code is throwing exception see another example it is throwing, throwing two exception io exception and sql exception this particular code can throw these two type of exceptions so but you are using a catch exception e so handling more than one type of exception java 7 compiler can determine that the exception thrown by the statement throw e must have come from the try block and the only exception thrown by the try block can either be io exception or the sql exception the compiler can determine the e is an instance either io exception or sql exception so compiler is now smart enough to uh, to basically find the instance of the exception that are put in the throws clause even uh, if we go in a bit detail in java 7 the compiler verifies that the type of rethrown exception meets some of the conditions like uh, if you can say the try block is able to throw it this particular portion must be able to throw these two type of exception there are no other preceding catch block that can handle handle it there shouldn't be any other catch block to handle this it is a subtype of or the super type of one of the catch clause exception parameter either it is a subclass or a super class that is thrown from here for io exception or sql exception in this particular code example okay resource manager this is another very beautiful feature that has came into the java 7 prior to java 7 resources such as connections files input output streams even uh, you can say your uh, socket connections etc should be closed manually by the developer a simple example code just go through it you must have come across in your day to day programming this type of coding practice where you must have opened some of the resources and then uh, catch and you must have given these things in finally block for each clause you must have put a try whether it is a connection or statement or uh, basically file output stream or some input stream now with java 7 particularly this part is no more required let's see uh, however java 7 has introduced another cool feature to manage the resources automatically any resource that implement java.lang.auto closable interface can be a candidate for automatic resource management automatic resource management a new interface has been introduced for io the auto closable is a parent of java.io.closable interface and it just has one method that is close that would be called by the jvm automatically when the controls come out of the try block called by jvm automatically when the control comes out of the try block this is so simple try resources to be cleaned your code to work on resources you need not to provide the close let's see uh, example code can handle 
uh, another beauty can handle multiple resources. The close method 